Today at ShopDap.com, we can talk about why DSG farts happen. <laughs> Those in the automotive scene are all too familiar with the phrase DSG farts. For those who haven't heard of this term before, this is a noise made in between shifts on a dual clutch or DSG transmission. The noise you hear during a shift of a DSG transmission is pretty distinct and especially even more amplified on vehicles that have modified exhaust. <laughs> the DSG transmission has been around the VW and Audi world since around 2006. By removing some of the rotating mass you would find in a standard automatic, the DSG transmission can give you increased fuel mileage and especially faster shifting. The DSG transmission mechanically resembles a manual transmission, but has the ability to have lightning fast upshifts of 8 milliseconds. To compare that with other fast things, a hummingbird flaps its wings every 14 milliseconds, and house flies have a reaction time of 35 milliseconds. What about you last night? I don't, I don't count that in milliseconds. When driving a manual transmission vehicle, you need to let off the throttle, push in a clutch, disengage your gear, select your other gear, let out the clutch, and then you can reapply the throttle. During the time of your shift, the RPMs on the engine would naturally fall since you are off throttle. The reason why this becomes an issue is because on standard automatic transmissions, you don't let off the throttle when you're accelerating the vehicle. <laughs> If you did not solve this issue in any way, what you would have happen is you would have the vehicle accelerate, it would disengage the, the gear to select the other one, the engine would rev because it's a neutral, you would select your new gear and the vehicle would lurch forward. This required engineers to come up with a solution to that issue while allowing maximized performance of the vehicle. The solution that VW came up with was to retard ignition timing while keeping valve train timing and fueling in place. So how does that all work, you ask? On a normal engine operation, the piston will come down draw in air and fuel will be sprayed. That mixture is then compressed, the spark plug ignites that mixture, it throws the piston back down, and then on the way back up, all of the exhaust gases are pushed out of the cylinder. On a DSG vehicle, the engine is going to take in the air and fuel mixture, compress it, and the spark is going to be cut during the DSG transmission shifting in between gears. It's then going to go back down and come back up through the exhaust stroke with unburned fuel still in the cylinder. So essentially what you're hearing is as the piston forces the unburned fuel and air mixture out through the exhaust, it hits the hot exhaust pipes and ignites. <laughs> So essentially a vehicle with a DSG transmission is going to cut spark in between shifts to ensure that the engine doesn't over rev in that process. You may have noticed on your Volkswagen or Audi when you're using launch control, you don't hear the same prominent DSG farts. 4,000 RPM. Woo hoo hoo doggy. <laughs> yes. Our friends from Unitronic have informed us the reason why this is the case is because in between shifts, the vehicle will engage both DSG clutches at the same time to slow the engine down enough just to make it through the gears. It's capable of this because DSG transmissions have two clutches, one on each set of gears. This is what makes DSG transmission so fast. So when you're accelerating in a DSG transmission, it's in first, it accelerates, Second gear is already selected before you've reached the point where the transmission is ready to shift. So the gear you're moving to next is going to be pre-selected, which is why all it needs to do is apply the force of the clutch to that particular gear. So to conclude, DSG farts are hot gas exploding from your tailpipe.
Everybody has different opinions about DSG farts. What are your opinions? Here's my opinion. <laughs>